Okay, everybody. Hey, explaining Road to Rank 1, Season 2, Episode whatever. I don't know how we're chopping these up, but we're getting into it again. Okay, let's let's queue on up. We're gold 2. We're ranked probably a billion. All right, I'm ranked 276 right now after our placements. So, and I know you guys can't see that. Let me show you real quick. 276. Nice. We haven't lost yet, which is good. All right, guys, explain your road to rank one. We got Bones stepping up to the plate, but it is this Falcon. So it's going to be a little bit different, but it is a matchup that I want to work on. So this should be interesting. I always take off Battlefield Dreamland. He has first pick. He's probably going to take off uh, Fountain, if I had to guess. I feel like he's the kind of guy that doesn't want to go to Fountain, but I could be wrong. He actually likes FD a lot as Falco, so I wouldn't be surprised if he takes off FD either. We're probably going to start Yoshi's, if I had to guess. I'm actually almost 100% certain that we're going to start Yoshi's. Almost. Yeah, that's a nice little six buffer. Should be good. Whoa, he took off Yoshi's, and I was almost 100% sure. Wow. Well, then we get either of these two stages. To be honest, I don't know. Like, Yoshi's and Fountain are so similar to me. FD is so bad for Falcon. It's actually insane. Yeah, we're going to start Fountain, which, like, I guess it might mess me up a little bit more, but I, I plan on it messing up him probably a little bit more. Just the way that Falcon functions as a character usually doesn't like the moving side platforms, but it doesn't have to function like that. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to focus on is trying to close out edge guards. We're going to try to focus on being aggressive, doing approaching lasers, doing approaching uh, aerials, whether those be early or late. And we're just going to try to grab him as well, keeping keeping our grabs in mind. He does the full hop. Okay. Nice. We're directly on top of him. So he got a knockdown. Didn't quite convert. I got the nair right before he was able to pull back. Um, yep, they all stomp on the side platform, so I probably should have been ready for that. Um, a really bad downer by me that could have gone super punished. We we're in a weird scramble situation. I don't know if he's listening to the stream. He, he definitely might be. He <laughs> just, like, stomped for no reason on the side platform. Um, Bones is really big into power shield into immediate attack. He does it with Falco, too. Um, um, so it's something that we're going to have to pay attention to. A little bit of lag, which is really unfortunate, especially since I, that was my invincibility. Um, shield poked me. Okay. Hi, double lasers. It's tricky for Falco to deal with a lot of the time. We have him off stage. Yep, should just be able to get that down air. That down air, that exact edge guard that I just did is really, really good. It's essentially just broken against Falcon, to be honest. Yeah, like I was saying about how um, the double A's are hard for Falcon to deal with, that stomp is definitely something that he can do to make it more difficult for me. Um, the lag is making this a little difficult. Um, I shot a high laser. He just ran under, which was good by him. Gonna go for a grab. He comes down with late aerial. Grab this time. And I got underneath the nair, got that down air. So that was good by me. I really don't want to be above him here. So I, I do that a lot, just like panicking kind of in the matchup. And then uh, one second. So we're intercepting him going high. Oh, I thought that was still going to hit, even though I had the reverse. Okay. I thought that fair might hit him too to connect. Uh, not quite. Shield drop back air. I think that actually shield poked him. We're going to late down smash right there to kind of mess up his tech time. We could have done it slightly earlier. Um, it's lagging so much I don't know if I want to go for a ledge dash, but I did it anyway. Nice power shield by him. We're going to tech in place. He doesn't cover it. Um, this side platform is actually a little wonky. I don't know if I really want to be playing around it. Um, okay, holding the ground. He full hops. He's doing a lot of full hop after, like, uh, take laser or shield laser. Um, so paying attention to that, just like he did in the corner right there. And then we're able to just convert with the back air down here. Um, that was pretty solid by us. Uh, we played a little shaky at the very beginning, and also the lag kind of messed us up a little bit during the invincibility period. Um, but we're going to take off Dreamland. He just lives too long there. Um, he's probably going to take us to Battlefield, if I had to guess. Take me back to Fountain, a little interesting. Um, yeah, so the reason I did the high double lasers on the side platform, even though um, I knew that he could do that stomp, is because the platform was actually a little low. Um, so I, I thought that maybe it wouldn't matter if he did the stomp, because I would just hit him anyway. But I guess not. Okay, this should be an easy edge guard. Oh, I, I actually had to go sooner, and I committed to the um, that roll, which a lot of times that roll is really good, but a lot of times the roll can be really bad, so you have to like look out for those situations. I called the roll in. He was dead if he actually rolled in. He messed that up. I'm not sure if there was a lag spike. I actually also missed my short laser, so I could have eaten an input, which is really frustrating, probably. Um, yep, we're going to do Shine Stall. We see him do the short hop aerial on stage. He probably wanted to jump off, but potentially not. But um, just seeing that, we're able to react and punish him. That was a really good recovery by him. I covered so much space with what I did. Oh, he got the nipple spike right there. A little interesting. I'm just going to drift forward down here because I've been lasering there so often. Um, reverse. Okay, nice. 
Nice, he gets the tech, I get the back air. He's off stage without a jump, which means this is going to be really difficult for him. Yeah, forward smash, because Falcon always flips upward. If you guys look, his legs actually extend up and uh, above him. So if you're trying to edge guard him, he actually, like, essentially can't true sweet spot. Um, because his legs are just exposed all the time. All right. Let's see. Hi, Lazies. He's trying to, like, kind of use his full hop and immediate double jump as, like, a fox full hop to, like, take the laser and then come down on top of us. So as long as we're staying outside of that, like, immediate range, it seems to be fine. Very luckily, that platform height didn't mess him up. It was extremely close to messing him up. I'm, I'm surprised he actually even went for that. Um, nice grab. Yep, nothing for him to do right there. Um, I tried to call a roll. He did a wave dash out of shield, which is really good cognizance by him. We're going to try and call out a roll right here. Yep, he full hops out of the corner. He's been doing that a ton. Like I said, we're just kind of standing at a range that makes it a little bit difficult for that to be an effective strategy. Um, yep, the power shield lasers. Nice. He's doing the power shield lasers, which are really good too. Um, oh god, yeah. So we can cover the drift forward and then grab the ledge there. That's like another edge guard. That's not necessarily what I wanted to do, um, but it is something that could be effective as well. I messed up my shield drop and use this execution touch stomping, which is definitely a classic thing that Falcon Mains like to do that you have to be prepared for. But, um, you yeah, know, I got hit by that one. Okay, I thought he was going to try to roll or um, grab my roll, so I rolled again out of, out of panic, thinking that I needed to make a safe option happen. Um, nice, but we convert the back air down. That was pretty good. Lag, a little unfortunate, but that's okay. Mango stealing Road to Rank 1 title? What's that about? Road to Rank 1. All random. Mango acts Wednesday. What? Mango couldn't get Rank 1 if he tried with other characters. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Alright, Darth Ziggler. So we got some Falcon Dittos. Um, this is something that we've done before. Okay. So a little dash, short hop off, fast fall, laser into dash jump shine if he's still on the side plat, which he is, but I actually did my movement too slowly. He doesn't tech in place there, so I wasn't able to convert. The down air happened after he got out of uh, shine stun, so I wasn't able to combo right there. Going for those, um, going for those, uh, oh, I didn't think he was going to be able to make it back. Uh, God, what was I trying to explain? I don't even remember. I'm just going to keep going with what I was talking about. Ah! Okay, I was on the ground, which is a little tricky. Uh, he went for an auto-cancel back here, but if, as you saw, his uh, head actually popped through the side platform, which allowed me to hit him. Um, the really interesting thing about Falco back air is that um, his back air is huge, obviously, but his head is actually sticking out above his back air. So a lot of times when people are coming down on top of you, they're still able to out-prioritize you because um, of the way that the hitbox and your hurtbox are kind of um, comporting. Oh, Randall getting involved. I did not meet a dash attack. I tried to back air a second time. I also tried to edge cancel back air right there. Uh, SDI on the up throw, really, really important. His down air beats my down air somehow. Uh, Nice. We're going to shield here. Just wave dash out. Try to establish laser control. He goes to side plant. I get the one pummel, so he gets knocked down by my forward throw. That happens at 37%. We get a full conversion off of it. That all happened off the back of my pummel. Um, also, my patience to wait for him on the side platform, but um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, nice. I thought he was going to do early back air out of shield, but he didn't. Uh, okay. He tries to approach me with a very, very early telegraph early up to the top platform, so I was able to counter hit him. Up tilt, shine, nice. We cover uh, the shorten. His shortened spacing was actually just really bad there, was the, the problem. Okay, I catch him out of the air going for a laser. I catch him out of the air right there. If you try to double laser and you don't land on the ground, and if I just shine you like that, you're just dead. Um, obviously, because not having your double jump right there means that you're going to have to like be below the stage. And uh, we all know what happens to Falco once he's below the stage. Okay, down tilt, he does take a place for the first time. Um, laser, no, he's just dead. Nice. Like I said, we all know what happens to Falco when he's under the stage. Thank you very much, Beezing. I appreciate the full year. We're going to Dreamland. A uh, little bit more space here, but the idea is going to be the same. So this is the pressure sequence that we were looking for before on the last match. Um, oh, if I got that grab, he was at 38 after the down air, which was going to be perfect. Uh, knockdown percent. Okay, nice. We're outspacing him right now. This should be a kill. I'm just going to roll up. Yeah, I'm not sure if he had an angle available to him. It was very ambiguous, actually. Oh, I tried to catch him. Um, thought he was going to land on the top platform and have to come down. Uh, I do um, ASDI down the Nair, but um, he spaced it in a way that I wasn't going to be able to get the immediate shine. Okay, I chose not to read the, the tech in place right there, and I probably should have. 
Um, oops, I messed up. Up throw to Nair. I'm just going to get some safe percent that's going to push him outwards. That's kind of my idea with the Nair right there. Uh, Ginger Nair, the Wispy kind of fucked up everything, so it was difficult to, to get all that working. Nice, he shoves me out with the Nair that I did to him. Okay, shine here. Weak Nair. Up till okay. I was trying to do a reaction to the side B. That was kind of my idea. Um, but he didn't do the side B, then he did up B, and I thought maybe I would just cover um, straight and high, and he actually went to the ledge. So he uh, he definitely won that mix-up. But he was still on the ledge, which allowed me to continue my corner pressure. He went to the top platform. I do some non-committal lasers on the side plat. Um, he definitely could have full hop back aired me right there. Calls out the tech in place. That was good by him. I could have let the double jump hang for a little bit longer and actually get back, but I was uh, pretty sure he would have enough time to, to threaten the ledge. Okay, he actually doesn't roll there, which is good, but he tries to do the uh, laser into immediate aerial, which is going to get uh, caught by me getting my shield up in time. Forward smash doesn't have as much end lag as a lot of people think that it does. Down here right here, he's still in shine stun. I'm pretty sure that combo actually looked a little wonky. Back throw, laser, laser. Forward tilt, down angle. Didn't quite work. He's still going for double lasers, even though I've killed him with it quite a few times now. Um, laser in this direction. Oh, I thought he was going to um, tech in. So he's done those runoff double lasers a couple times now. Uh, he DI'd out on the forward air, and that's gonna be it. Nice, good games. All right, so what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna take off Dreamland. I played against Squibble before. Um, what's up, Mova? So we're doing some Falco versus Fox. Squibble's very good. Um, so we're taking this off. Um, I'm actually down to start on FD. Um, I think this should be good. I'm pretty sure that Squibble is another box Fox from Colorado, which is kind of cool that um, him and uh, Cyrox are both box foxes at this point. Uh, we're gonna throw a six buffer on there. I feel like maybe I should have something a little bit more, but um, going to FD just because I, I think I know his play style a little bit. We're gonna do a little seven buffer action. Okay, a little seven buffer. We're gonna go to FD. Let's see how it plays out. I've been getting it quite a bit better at this stage. We're gonna do a high laser above his head that he's gonna try to power shield. Um, laser into dash jump shine almost works out. Um, get the running shine here to scoop him up. Nice SDI by him. He think I think he got like either one input or like an ASDI input, but it was enough uh, to get him away. I did the fade back down here right there. Uh, forward tilt on the tech roll away. I try to get the reaction up tilt, doesn't quite work. Um, this is gonna be kind of a tricky edge guard. Uh, he goes straight maybe because of the lag, I'm not sure. Um, but let's see, we're gonna look for a grab into an up throw shine up B. Um, not quite, uh, he got the Doraki. Um, kind of awkward that that happened, but uh, whatever. High double lasers right here, catch him out. We get the shine, good SDI again. Um, gotta make that combo tough for me. Uh, but we have pretty good defense. Hopefully this is gonna be able to work out for us. Yeah, like I said, we get that tech right there. Um, up smash, not gonna kill. Um, so I'm still alive here. We're probably gonna go straight. Okay, he actually trades with an air. Kinda interesting. Um, okay, we're looking for a grab right now. Get him off stage. Oh, if my laser came out, that actually would've caught him. Um, I thought he was gonna try to full hop out of the corner. A lot of foxes like to try and do that. We're gonna try and cover the roll in. Yep, so, um... What I like to do a lot of the times is like threaten one thing, wave dash back, and then that way I'm holding on to center stage and able to corner pressure, as well as like cover a tech roll in. So when he rolls into us, we just get the, the free punish, right? Um, okay, looking for the up throw, down air. Nice SDI again, but we cover it by doing the shine grab. Yep, called out the high angle. I just had a feeling uh, that was like a 50-50 between him like going underneath that and not. Okay, nice up tilts. Um, should be able to go high here. Ah, he was still covering the ledge. If I didn't fast fall right there, I'm pretty sure I grabbed the ledge. Um, he's shielding a lot after taking lasers and also not DIing the throws correctly, which makes me think that I can just um, kind of grab him and get some really big damage on this stage, which is really, uh, if, if you're a Fox main, you got to work on SDIing those throws. We're going to fade back right here into the forward smash. It's a classic mango thing to do. Um, I grab the ledge to give him kind of the visual cue that I'm going to be covering the ledge, but then I get off of it um, and actually cover the high angle. Uh, he's starting to full hop quite a bit. We get underneath him with the uh, up tilt laser right here. Oh, man. If my laser had actually worked out. Uh, we cross him up with the back air kind of ambiguously with the double jump back air. So he dies incorrectly. You want to make that back air as ambiguous as possible so that there's like a 50-50 chance he dies there. And even if he gets it wrong, um, or even if he gets it right, um, you still end up winning uh, because you get an edge guard situation. Sorry. <laughs> I explained that very poorly. But um, I don't think he's going to pick Fountain. I'm going to take this off, to be honest with you. Yo, Quickling, thank you very much. I appreciate it. We're going to go to Yoshi's Story. Um, small stage. 
Um, I should be able to get slightly earlier kills here if I get certain kill setups, which should be good for me. But the full hops are going to be uh, kind of tricky to deal with. He started full hopping more at the end of the last game, too. We're going to do short hop laser off fast fall laser. We get him to roll into me right there. Again, the throw's not terribly greatly DI'd there, but the, uh, the side platforms make it a lot easier for him to escape those combos. He actually air dodges instead of shields right there. Um, nice. He's positioning on side platform, which is essentially like a, a pseudo full hop height. Yep, there's the full hop. We actually spaced ourselves to beat it with the back air. Uh, weak back air here. Okay, strong back air is going to be good. Sorry. There was a lag spike, and I really had to focus on that. Weak uh, reverse nair into the back air. Should be able to get a down smash here. The down smash is really easy to hit because your legs are invincible, so if you're trying to hit that straight forward angle right across the ground, down smash is definitely the go-to. Um, down throw shine is really, really good if you are the port closest to the left. Caught his ledge... Uh, um, <laughs> error dodge right there. Sorry. <laughs> I was saying so many things. Nice. He's putting up a shield. So like I was talking about before, he seems to like to shield in the panic situations a lot. Um, so I'm getting a lot of grabs. Um, oh, Randall. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, sometimes Randall does that to you. Randall giveth, Randall taketh away, right? Um, down here, Randall's gonna be there, but he's uh, too far away. I always look at the timer to know whether or not I should uh, cover that while I'm down airing them. Obviously, I don't always look, otherwise I wouldn't have died on that last stock. Shine drift out down air right there. Um, so the drift out covers if they DI away, um, at, at least in my experience, at least most of the time, um, as long as I fully commit. And it seemed like he was going to be good enough to, to try and do that. I tried to run off. Shine didn't quite get it. Um, a quick series of inputs, kind of difficult for me to deal with. I think I missed my ill cancel right there, which made me miss my up tilt timing that was going to catch him coming for the top platform. But I probably should have been playing that mix up anyway because it was pretty high risk, high reward regardless. Uh, shield drop down air, not really a high percent chance of working right there. Covering the full hop. Dang, he does the uh, the short hop in there, which is good by him. Um, good adaptation, seeing me maybe even just standing in that position. Okay, down smash. Oh, a little too late. We're going to go for uh, an air dodge here. Got behind him, which is all we wanted to do. Okay, nice. So we took our own laser dash back and then uh, covered it with the, the down air, right? So um, I really want to make a video about how you can actually react to your own power shielded laser hitting you and then do an option afterwards. It's actually really, really good, which is how I just won that game. Um, so yeah, good games, good games. Man, I feel like I was talking really fast during that one. That was actually crazy. I think we're gold one something now, right? Let me refresh this page, see what we got. Whew. There we are. So we're now we're rank 164. Nice. Nice. Look at Mega, road to rank one. What a fool. What a fool. All right, maybe we can get plat today. That'd be good. Probably just like one or two more matches against plat or gold rank people. Yoy. Uh, we got Falco versus Luigi. So, the things that I like to do in this matchup. Laser. Laser forward tilt. Laser fadeaway down air. Laser late aerial. Laser fadeaway aerial any aerial. Laser grab. Um, those are kind of the things that I think are kind of broken in this matchup. Um, established, but all those things kind of have in common. A laser first. Um, so shooting laser is very, very good at limiting Luigi's horizontal movement. Obviously, he needs to be able to wave dash to, to move quickly at you. Um, he can also use platforms, but you have a lot of priority and a lot of ways to stay away from all of the mix-ups that he has coming in, coming down and doing that. Um, and on this stage, a lot of the times, the edge guards actually happen such that you're able to kill him um, kind of at the same percents regardless. Um, see how he's on the top platform here but it's like okay well we we have a lot of things that we can do to deal with this sort of thing right um and so that's what i was saying like staying out of the range of his priority i tried to call out him just jumping to the platform i didn't have to do that as a oh goodness um this doesn't really matter too much but uh so what I tried to do there is actually call him out going to a side platform um, because I felt like that was kind of his strategy. But it seemed like potentially he's given it up now. Um, not like 100% certain. Caught him jumping right there. Um, cover the double jump, drift in. He drifts out, so we maintain the corner pressure. You guys see how like even in this matchup and in, in, in like so many different matchups, um, I cover. So I cover the drift in or I cover the tech in. And then if they don't, I just maintain a, a good corner pressure sequence. Okay, so what you could do against Luigi, um, oh, one second. Yep, so he just should be dead here. Yep. Um, so during the end lag of the side B, you can just go out and hit him. Um, I made it a little bit more complicated than it needed to be right there. Okay. Oh, man, I killed myself twice. So I was actually trying to shine accidentally hit the A button. Um, that's okay. But yeah, what you could do against Luigi's ledge dash, um, almost killed him there, is actually just do uh, fade away down air. It's really hard for him to deal with. 
Um, you can also hit him in the end leg of the down beat too. So he's just dead. You see how like it's Dreamland and you might think that Luigi should pick this because he's gonna live forever because he's really floaty? It's like, well, he kind of still just dies at 80 once you hit him off stage. Um, it really doesn't work out. Uh, I did the early aerial. So like laser into early aerial wasn't one of the things that I mentioned before, right? Unless it was a fadeaway aerial. So like doing these late aerials, or, or I guess like these cross-ups are okay. I cross him up into the front of him right there, which was the problem. Uh, lag, making my positioning a little difficult. But um, we actually only like killed ourselves this match, really. We've taken like 100 damage total or something like that. It seems like he's willing to play a little bit more patient now. Um, back air, there. Back air again. Oh, not quite. I want to come down with a laser here. Um, he's doing tons of take laser into shield on the ground. Um, right there, if he's in the air, laser forward tilt or uh, forward smash is just really good. Back air, he should have to side B here. Yep, we're just gonna cover the side B as it comes in. That's gonna be game one. The lag, a little unfortunate, but you see how like control of the ground and then staying away from all the platforms picks ups is like essentially how you win this matchup. Um, it seems like he's super uncomfortable on the ground, so we're just gonna take off Fountain. He's probably gonna retake, uh, he's probably gonna go back to Dreamland, unless he wants to go FD. I'm leaving it open, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a good idea for him. Um, his punish game is definitely, um, his punish game is definitely um, buffed on this stage, but it's so much harder for him to get an opening. I'm not sure if I'll be able to necessarily showcase that because the lag has been so difficult that um, I might not position exactly perfectly. Yep, okay, so up throw and then I shark. I just cover him coming down with an air. And then if he double jumps, I'm still able to shark, right? So look at him. He really doesn't seem like comfortable with the ground movement. Um, he's even jumping right now and then he jumps into a laser. Um, and you can just hold down against so much Luigi stuff and it's really good for you. Fade away aerial, he rolls into us. That also would have covered a wave dash at that spacing. He has no double jump. Um, okay, you just walk up down smash, he gets the tech. Good for him. Forward tilt, he gets the tech again. We get the down smash, he's just gonna die. Yeah, that's that little sequence. You can actually tech and then do an up B that's like really, really well spaced that a lot of Luigi's do um, to help in sweet spot. I missed my L cancel, which really messed up my movement right there. Uh, but that's okay. Yep, jump over that with my laser. It's one of the benefits of doing uh, lasers in this matchup. Um, okay, actually messed up right there. I meant to hold shield, not, uh, not actually spot dodge right there. So like I said, this punish game a lot more linear, a lot more uh, easy to do, and then yeah. There's no platform for me to land on, that's just gonna be cleaned up, but uh, that situation maybe shouldn't have happened. I had a little accidental spot dodge, but that's okay. We cover the drift in, and it works. Yep, we get intentionally hit by that. He's just gonna die for it. Um, I covered if he was gonna go for it. That's like a little like trick that you could do by like getting hit by the Luigi side B. If he doesn't have a jump, he's essentially just screwed once he's all the way out there. Um, okay. All right, there's quite a bit of lag now. Um, okay, he's walking towards me. Now he's crouching, so I think we're fighting. Um, all right, shooting lasers, getting the ground again. He's just jumping when I get near him, um, and then landing and becoming back in shield. Kind of a risky down B, but it seems like he's pretty lost at this point. That fadeaway aerial is exactly what I was talking about before. It's very, 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 very good against Luigi ledge dash. Um, yep, shine back here here. He's jumping again. Um, catch him jumping that time out of shield with the cross-up aerial like I was talking about before. If you're going to do a high aerial, um, do it cross-up or do it in reaction to them being in the air. Um, it's going to be really good for you. He's going to wave dash into us? No. Wow. I thought he was going to. Yeah, see how he has such a hard time getting in on like these fadeaway uh, aerials? God dang, the lag making this really difficult. I tried to get the cross-up right there. Maybe it wouldn't have even mattered on the up smash. Um, he crouches a bunch for some reason. Gets a random laggy trade with the forward smash. Don't even know if he actually intended to do that. We got a forward smash right here. Doesn't quite work. Shine back here. Doesn't kill. Gonna deal for this up B. He has to double jump. We're gonna go for an up smash. He has no double jump, no down B. Cover the back here right here. We get hit by it, and he's just dead. Nice. Yeah, that was a, a pretty unfortunate connection, but I mean, like, the ideas were still kind of all there. I definitely could have super duper ultra approached with late aerials, um, and I could have grabbed him a million times more, but I was kind of just trying to get it over with the with the uh, early aerials that I was doing. Um, and that was, like, really the only times I was really getting hit. That, or I would, like, mess up and spot dodge or something, and he'd randomly punish me. But that's kind of the matchup. Okay, we're going to take off Fountain. Um, he's probably going to take off Battlefield, maybe Dreamland. Maybe not. Maybe FD. Maybe these two. I'm not sure. Okay, Yoshi's. I'm randomly... Okay, cool. I was randomly down to start FD, but it uh, looks like we're going to be going Battlefield, which I think is Falco's best stage. I don't know where why you would ever start here um, as Fox. I've, I've said that before. I feel like there's just no plus side to starting here. Um, 
Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but that's okay. We're going to go into it. It's a pretty dynamic matchup anyway, so the stages don't matter too much. Um, but given all the things I know about the matchup, I, I really think that Battlefield is good for Falco. I like Battlefield. <laughs> nice. What's up, Ultiman? Good to see you. All right. I mean, I like Battlefield too. I'm down. I'm super down. Stream Sniper. No, Ultimates, I'm pretty sure you've been sub before, actually. Um, I don't know. Can I even check that? Yeah, previously subbed. I knew it. Okay, perfect. Let's do this. Battlefield, uh, game one. Nice. So I'm just going to drop back, shoot a laser, try to establish ground control, and then uh, eventually approach with that. I actually reacted with the shield drop shine. Um, down air right here, down air again. He's doing the get up attack. I cover the roll in again, like I was talking about before. Uh, so right there, you might think, oh, Avery, but I thought you liked to cover the roll in and then like have corner pressure. So something I like to do as a mix-up. Whoa, I tried to shoot a laser. That was my bad. Um, so something I like to do as a mix-up is I actually like to um, show that I'm going to be covering the tech in. And then once it's been long enough, I'll like dash up and down smash or something like that to like um, kind of give them the visual cue of something happening and then instead change it up completely when they like give me the time because they hesitated like that. So I do a little dash back after the laser. He, uh, he throws out the early back air trying to cover me approaching, a little zoning tool, and I waited for him to do it and then uh, attacked him. So I could have done the same thing after that full hop back air, but um, Ooh, I could have gone to the ledge. Uh, and there was a little lag spike, which is a little unfortunate. But um, I could have done it against the full hop back here, but you just have to wait longer. Yep, he tries to come down directly off the, the side plant. Get the forward air here, edge cancel. Okay, nice little shortened by him. Uh, get a little clank. Tried for a full hop near uh, shield poke. Man, the lag has been unfortunate. Full hop back air. Oh, I, I went a little too far. Should be able to cover everything there with my shine stall timing. That was really good. We're just forced him off the stage. All of this is working out pretty well. Um, going for the back throw, forward tilt, immediate up tilt, back air, grabbing the ledge, back air again. He should just be dead. We roll up. Nice. Um, early kills are really good. I'm sorry that it looked like cheese. I'm sorry that it was it was dumb. But I mean, if he's not prepared to SDI the back throw, it's something I kind of have to do. Um, so let's see here. I tried to do just a regular get up there so I could get the get up attack, and he was waiting for it, which is unfortunate for me. Uh, I just back through trying to set him up into a bad situation. Forward tilt and the SDI is out of it, but he still uh, doubled up down airs, which was unfortunate, but I mean, hey. I feel like nobody's going to counterpick me found. You think they're actually going to? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm trying to think about the last fox that's counterpicked me there, but I don't know. All right, we're going to go FD, which uh, it could work out for him too. Okay, perfect. So we're ready for this. Like I said, I've been getting better at this stage. I'm going to shoot another high laser above him right here, and he's going to try to power shield it. Yep, so that uh, really shakes things up. I do the double shine right there. I try to do a double down air, assuming that he was going to be SDIing off stage. We do a late down air right there to catch um, all the drifts. We just do a, a dare with no fast fall, so that, um, and not all the drifts, all the different angles that he's going to be able to do, um, riding the wall. And when he's underneath uh, or under a certain percent, he's not going to be able to tech that down air, so it makes it very, very easy for us to get that, uh, that conversion. Single head up air here. I tried to um, wave shine forward smash is what I was going to do, um, which would have really helped this situation, um, but that's okay. So, like, we could be up four stocks to two right now as long as I just hit a wave shine. Little things like that are super important. Um, we use our invincibility to react. He actually SDIs in the laser so he doesn't fall off the platform, or fall off the stage. Up tilt into shine up B here is going to be the combo. Nice. Uh, hit him with a little 50-50 DI mix-up. Um, up tilt uh, is going to be used to set that up. That was really, really good. Um, double lasers right here. I thought he might full hop above, and he actually does, but a little late. Um, accidentally SDIs the, the laser backwards because maybe he was trying to dash back or something like that. Maybe dash shield and uh, power shield the laser. But now we're in this situation. We're just focusing on doing ambiguous DI, trying to get him to, to drop his platform. Or um, drop his uh, fucking <laughs> uh, 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 chain grab. Okay, back air coming down. Forward air here. Okay, he actually SDIs up, which is really good by him. We're going to do fade back there into forward smash. He just double jumps up. I looked away from the screen for a second. That's why that looks so bad. Back air, uh, forward air. We're hitting it with every aerial in the book into the up B trade. Laser forward tilt. He has no jump. We're going to refresh our up B here. Nice. Okay, that was just a super silly stock, by the way. Nothing really to take away from that. Descending nair. Um, actually pretty good. Yep, cover the full hop right there with the instant double jump timing. I'm, I, oh, he did get his jump back. So we're going to cover uh, pressure the ledge here. 
Shot my laser slightly too low. Um, I actually had to swallow, and I looked away from the screen for a second. Cover the double jump timing. Uh, I tried to side B to live, but it didn't quite work. We're gonna go for up throw fair into uh, shine up B. Okay, it didn't quite work. Oh, and we kill ourselves. Really unfortunate. I thought I might be able to hit him in time. So we can actually just go for an up throw shine up B right here, and it's actually just gonna kill. Yeah, nice. I don't know, did that conversion works so frequently that I'm surprised I've never seen anybody else do it. Um, and that's Platinum. That's actually, uh, I think that might be a good place to, to end Road to Rank 1 for today.